Mahatma Gandhi ji ne itni sundar baat kahi what is the point of that fast speed which has no direction ye sab jo depression jo frustration jo drug abuse alcoholism wo kyon ho rahe hain kyunki jeevan jeena hi bhool gaye paisa पावर प्रस्टीज नेम और फेम की चक्कर में हमारी जिंदगी खत्म होते जा रही है इंसानियत उस दिन सही हो जाएगी जिस दिन आतंकवाद का पता चल जाएगा कि कौन आतंकवादी है और कौन अमन पसंद है जब तक आतंकवाद का पता नहीं चलेगा इंसानियत कभी आबाद नहीं हो सकती है सत्य वो शब्द से परे है वो सत्य हमारे आचरण से हमारे जीवन से हमारे व्यवहार से प्रतिबिंबित होता है गांधी जी ने जो उपदेश देता दास ने बात बात पढ़े है पर साहिब श्री गुरु नानक पातशाह जी उन्होंने सिद्धांत भी बिल्कुल मिलता जुलता है देश के लिए संस्कृति के लिए संस्कारों के लिए सदैव जागृत रखने वाले उनकी जवानी को एक दिशा देने वाले निर्बल को बलवान बना दे या अल्लाह वहशी को इंसान बना दे या अल्लाह हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख ईसाई एक ही थाली में खाएं ऐसा हिंदुस्तान बना दे या अल्लाह रिस्पेक्टेड मैनी गुरु जी वी ऑल एक्चुअली स्पिरिचुअल ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स नाउ all major world religious tradition you see carry message of love loving kindness in spite of different philosophical fields philosophical views all carry same message and all major world religious tradition have same sort of ability to in, to increase this human loving kindness so now i always see a feel all major world religious, religious tradition uh related with human being not the other animal so best the quality of human being as a social animal human loving kindness sense of brotherhood sisterhood so therefore all major religious tradition you see carry that message so on that basis all major world religious tradition can develop genuine mutual respect and a harmony so that is very important and especially now these days in the name of religion fighting killing each other yes. very sad unthinkable all religious major religious tradition carry this main message is loving kindness love forgiveness tolerance so uh the religious harmony is very important and very possible to develop religious harmony 
Now India is one living example. In this country, almost over 2,000 years, different religious tradition with a different philosophy exist here. Occasionally some problem, but otherwise basically very good religious harmony. I think over 3,000 years, Sangya philosophy developed. And Sangya philosophy, main message is Ahimsa and Karuna. So because of that, in this country, eventually different religious traditions from outside, from West, Western world, Middle East, Islam come. And then later, Christian come. And in Bombay, very small community, Zorazuddin come. It's all, no fear, very peaceful. So that is India's tradition. So now this India's tradition, now time come to show world, different religious tradition can live together and mutual respect. That's very important. Yes. India itself, you see, practice these things, kept over a thousand years. So now show rest of the world where some conflict in the name of religion. In Burma, including Buddhism, Buddhist Islam problem. So this uh, very sad. So India is the living example. Different religious tradition can live together. <laughs> then, and then among the different religious tradition, so different philosophical views, particularly in this country, the Sangha philosophy, within Sangha philosophy, two groups. One Sangha philosophy philosopher believe creator, God. One Sangha philosopher, you see, no con so concept of creator. So Jainism also that category. And later Buddhism also that category. So we believe self-creation rather than there are some absolute is a God. So therefore, there, there are different philosophical views. And within Buddhism, there are different philosophical views. Chitta Mantra, yes. mind-only school of thought. Then, the Madhimika philosophy. And within Chitta Mantra and Madhimika, there are different sub-schools sub, sub there. So these different philosophical views is useful. So long, all aiming compassion. So you utilize different philosophical views uh, according individual's mental disposition. Uh, so it can be as I say, more kasoda, uh, make more useful, more people, different views, different uh, mental position. So different philosophy is very important. This is, I, good. This is good for brain. Oh yes, I, I, I always, I never state Buddhism, right. Buddhism is best. Buddhism is one of the important religion, but I never say Buddhism is best. Like medicine, like medicine, so we cannot say one medicine, this is best medicine. You cannot say. According different, or say the patients, individual patient, to some people, this medicine is best. To some people, that medicine is best. So like that, according different mental disposition, then you see this different philosophy, you see, uh, like that. So some people, 
You see, they believe God, creator, Islam, uh, Christian, and, and then many Hindus also, you see, believe creator. <laughs> I don't know this person. I really don't know. <laughs> he great was a yoga practice, practitioner. Wonderful. So he, many occasions, he demonstrated his sort of experience of yoga practice. Oh, wonderful. So, there are different philosophies. Yes. It's necessary. So it is totally wrong due to different philosophy and disrespect each other and fight. Now, today's world, even the name of religion, some violence, some killing, unthinkable, really, very sad. So, India uh, is living example. All major world tradition can live together and mutual learning. So, now India, this religious tolerance, uh, not just sufficient, preserve within the country, but now time come to show rest of the world religious harmony, very possible in this country, over 2,000 years, different religious traditions live together. <laughs> so, oh, then another sort of point, among seven billion human beings, about one billion non-believer, these also human brothers, sisters, so, India's tradition, secular, not necessarily with religious belief or faith, but, you see, from India's tradition, training our mind, not just a prayer, oh, you know, over 3,000 years in this country developed shamatha, Vipassana. Yes. These are the method to tackle our emotion. So, the, so these uh, we can take as a sort of method training our mind as an academic subject, not a religious subject. Although these information come from religious text, but we should consider these are academic subject. So. Whether believer or non-believer, as a matter of fact, entire seven billion human beings need certain thousand-year-old India's tradition to tackle our emotion. That's very important. And then, within Buddhism, two groups, Pali tradition yes. and Sanskrit tradition. Pali tradition mainly, you see, based on Buddha's own word. Yes. Sanskrit tradition mainly analyze, analyze, yeah. experiment. experiment. So some a follower of uh, Sanskrit tradition, like Nagarjuna yes, yes. and some other, they even rejected some Buddha's own word. If you accept this Buddhist word, literally, it goes against the reason. So it is more important reason, experiment, rather than faith. Buddha himself, you see, express, oh, my follower, monks, scholars, should not accept my teaching out of faith, out of devotion, but rather thorough investigation. So therefore, now, you see, uh, today, the, because of human population and also global warming, now people who think about the well-being of humanity, we should think about importance of environment. Because global warming, now, decade by decade, increasing. That is very serious. So this is only our home. 
if our home, you see, gradually too hot and burning, then we have no other place to escape. <laughs> so I think, firstly, the too hot, then his, his beer <laughs> will burn. <laughs> so therefore, now we also should take care about the environment and save water, pure water, and then more tree. It's very important. When I was uh, in Tibet, I have no idea about ecology. Yes. After I reach India, then some of my friends say, oh, you cannot drink this water. Oh, this is too much polluted. <laughs> then first, first time I learned pollution. Oh, then listen, the specialist, then I realized this world, planet, planet is only our home. We must take care about our only one home. Then another thing I want to share with you. This country, over 3,000 years, already knowledge how to tackle our emotion. Yes. Uh, now that's ancient Indian knowledge. Now modern India, I think, not adequate to pay attention about this ancient Indian knowledge, how to tackle our emotion, how to bring inner peace. So we, I think, generally, too much attraction about modern education. Modern education oriented about material value. So now India should combine modern education, very useful for economy, for science, for technology, for development, these things, modern education, very important. But at the same time, ancient Indian knowledge, how to bring peace of mind, that's very important. So India, only this country have the ability to combine ancient Indian knowledge about mind, emotion, and then modern education, these two combine. Then, uh, with more, through modern education, material development, these things. And then, ancient, with ancient Indian knowledge, peace of mind. That's very important. According to Indian tradition, analytical meditation, analyze, uh, thinking, reason, experiment. Therefore, now today, I found qu modern quantum physics. Yes, quantum physics. And India's thousand-year-old sort of concept very similar. So, the, uh, according to quantum physics, there is big differences, appearance and reality. Uh, appearance, things exist objectively. Yes, yes. But if we investigate, nothing objectively exists, uh, but very much depends on observer's mind. Yes, yes. So this is exactly, uh, in this country, Chitta Mantra, and uh, Madhimika, you see, clearly mentioned that. So, uh, you see, that not only just a concept, you see, most destructive emotions such as anger, uh, extreme attachment, very much based on appearances. So once we get more sort of understanding there is gap appearance and reality, then the emotions, basis of negative emotion, or according, you see, believe, appearances. Now, once that, now there's, there's the, nothing exists as appears, then that very helpful to reduce the grasping of negative emotion. <laughs>